Yo, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? This is Vikram G, back out your Coach VTV. And on today's episode, just want to talk about how we are always just one decision away from changing our whole lives. So to expand on that, just like, you know, life is truly what you decide to make it. Not only your habits, but the decisions you do in a 24-hour basis. What you spend your time doing makes or breaks you, man. Like, I've noticed this generation, upcoming generation, has fallen in love with instant gratification. Which ain't the wave or the move. To be honest, you trying to live a highly successful life, you should be falling in love with delayed gratification and goal setting, all right? Too many people out here, you know, addicted to their vapes, right? Charge up my vape, you know, hit the blinker, blinker goes off, you get reward in your brain. Uh, no zoo. What else? There's sports betting. Too many people addicted to gambling, shit like that, man. You hit a good bet, you make some money quickly with no effort, no hard work being done. Just a little bit of simple luck. And people getting high off that shit, man. I'm not speaking from experience, I was addicted to like sports betting in 2017. Had to drop that shit cold turkey. And even when I went to Las Vegas in like 2019, did not gamble. Like when I need to change something in my life, when I need to make a decision that's gonna change my life forever, you know, I drop shit cold turkey. People love jacking off. Jacking off is another form of instant gratification. You always wanna practice delayed gratification. Instant gratification meaning like you get a reward shortly after doing a task. Type in Pornhub on your fucking keyboard. Da, 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 da. Find a video, get your nut off. Boom, dopamine rush in your head. You know, as human beings, we used to get these dopamine rushes after hunting or killing an animal, getting a fucking meal after starving for four fucking days. Look at what society has brainwashed us into, you know? You guys, you want to break generational curses? It all starts with you. And you want to be the first millionaire in your family tree line? It all starts with you. Right? You can be the change for the next three generations, you know? Too many people, man, they don't want to do shit nowadays. They just want to be slaves. What do you mean by slaves, coach? What I mean by slaves is just giving away your time to a motherfucking job. And not chasing your dream on like the side. You just work your job, you come back home, you turn on Netflix. You're not adding any extreme value into the world, right? And you got a decent life, but you're not really achieving your true potential out here. Right? So I like 1% of the world only works out, right? So I bodybuilding is pretty niche, pretty niche ass stuff, right? But there's potential for the whole rest of the world to start working out. It's getting more popular day by day because of mads like me, boy. And yeah. But yeah, you're always one decision away from changing your life. You know, never practice instant gratification. Try to practice delayed gratification as much as possible. Because then you're st starting to go down the right path towards success. 
you know, life is a long journey. It's a long journey, right? Like, you're not going to be successful tomorrow. But if you start doing the right actions, t- taking the right actions towards your goals day to day, you know, waking up early, going to bed early, you know, working out once or twice a day, whatever fits your schedule, you know, studying your school books, building the right habits, you know, taking cold showers, not being on your phone all day, scrolling social media, instead reading books, gaining more knowledge. Knowledge is infinite, guys. Trust me, you're not going to mess out by not scrolling on social media. That shit is bullshit, garbage, toxic. Just a way to keep you vibrating at a lower level, man. You got to watch people that help you learn stuff about yourself. Like your boy. Man, the best way to improve your future is... You got to water the roots, water the roots of a family tree. Maybe you are the roots. You most likely are. I got a lot of young people that watch me, man. You water the roots. And then you're going to be a family tree legend out here, boy. You know, you could be the first person in your family tree to do Whatever your goals are, man. But it all starts with one decision, right? Right? One decision to quit gambling. One decision to quit vaping. One decision to quit watching porn. One decision to start working out. Get a gym membership. That shit all adds up, man. Your habits will always make or break you, man. Always pay attention to what you give a lot of your energy to, right? You want to understand the universe? You got to think in terms of vibration, frequency, and energy. And yeah, man, monitor how you're using these things. And set goals, man. Monthly goals. Or weekly goals, daily goals, yearly goals, because life will skip you by fast if you don't pay attention, man. You got to really make the most out of every day, man. Be grateful for everything you have, man. I said it yesterday. Be grateful for it. Be able to wake up again. Thank God for waking you up again. Thank God for letting you, every single breath you get to take again today. Be grateful for the clothes on your back. Be grateful for the bed you get to rest on. Be grateful for the house that shelters you. Be grateful for food on the table. Be grateful for all that shit, man. There's people in third world countries that don't got that shit, man. And we all do, right? Majority of my audience is in Canada and USA, right? And look, these phones, these phones, right? They have made it so you can start a business right from your pocket, buddy. Right from your pocket. And you can have a global impact on the world. You just got to find a problem to fix. Yeah, man, you don't have to be into working out or anything like that, but the thing is, you don't want to die weak. I think every man should be hunting to find his true potential and become his most fo- most physical dominant form, but you don't want to die weak because dying weak and dying a long, low Slow death. Ain't the wave, man. You guys got lots of potential. We're all made with greatness inside us. But it's up to you 
to bring that potential out, man. And I saw this video on Instagram this morning. Repost it on my story too. If you don't follow me on Instagram, check it out, Vikram G Fitness. But there's a, a African American speaker, motivational speaker, talking about how lions are kept in cages, right? But a lion can be kept in a cage his whole life. Why do they cage the lion? Right? Because if a lion's never been in the wild, right? If a lion has never been in the wild, he doesn't know. Why do they have to cage him up if he's never been in the wild? The answer was because of his instincts. Right? You guys have these instincts inside you too. Like, unleash that lion, baby. Unleash that lion, man. That lion is getting tired of being caged inside because you want to watch Netflix. Because you want to keep watching porn. Because you want to keep playing goddamn video games. Netflix, biggest waste of time, bro. I swear to God, I've only watched a few handful of shows, man. And it was during 50, 60 minute cardio sessions on the Stairmaster to get fucking shredded. Besides that, I don't really watch no Netflix or movies, any of that bullshit. Quit watching the corn too, man. That's just fake stimulation. And what else? Quit watching the video games. That's just fake adventures. Right? Get out and do shit, man. But yeah, I don't want to keep the video up, up going for too long. Just want to tell y'all, man, you're always one decision away from changing your life forever, man. And I believe in you. You can, you can do this shit, man. You can do this shit. Nobody believes in you. You got to believe in yourself. Because self-belief is the only power you need to conquer any of your dreams, man. Go out there and get shit done. Yuzu! Make sure y'all leave a like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, man. You want to change your life? Think of in terms of vibration, frequency, and energy. You want the keys to the universe. Yuzu! So, this is Coach V signing off. Peace out. I hope y'all have a sensational weekend. Happy Friday. Much love.